Hi everyone. Well, we're really fortunate this evening. We've got some sunshine and it's calm and it's dry because we've had rain for the last three days. You can see the path is just a muddy, horrible mess. So I'm outside. I've got a little window of opportunity to catch up on some work. And um, this week's film is about the menopause. And I know a lot of people dread the menopause. A lot of people think it's a horrible, terrible time. So I'm here to tell you it's a transformational metamorphosis of a time. And it's, um, it's a rite of passage that we should welcome. So first of all, I want to just point out that going through the menopause, it does have some difficulties, but they're not medical issues. They're just your hormones settling down, changing, balancing out and there's lots of things we can do to help that process so that it's not so difficult. But there's lots of good things about the menopause. Once you've gone through it, you're so free. You're completely free. You get to a point in life where you just don't care what people think or say about you. You, It's like it's like becoming a teenager again. You feel free, you feel wild, you can do what you like. You can dye your hair, you can swear, you can do mad crazy things like staying up all night or going off on a mad holiday. Your children are grown up so you're completely free of responsibility and um, it's a fantastic opportunity to enjoy these latter years. But for people who don't believe me, I'm just going to explain what you might be going through and what you can do about it. So one of the things, what's happening when you're going through the menopause is your hormones are changing and adapting to the fact that you're no longer releasing an egg for, for um, fertilization. So bleeding stops, that's another positive thing. You don't have to worry about um, that side of things. You can wear white trousers whenever you like if you should wish to. But um, some women do have a hormonal imbalance for some period of time. So that can cause things like hot flushes, hot flashes, night sweats. And one of the best herbs for those issues is sage. Just sage out of your garden. The same sage that you use for stuffing and other culinary purposes. You can use sage medicinally as well, it's fantastic for sore throats. But if you use it during this transformational metamorphosical time, um, it's very good at relieving hot flushes and those night sweats. For some women, it's um, psychologically it can be difficult because your children have left home if you had children. You can miss them, you can feel useless. You can feel like, what is the point of my life anymore? So it's a good idea to prepare. So even if you're not going through the menopause yet, bear this in mind. Prepare by maybe joining clubs, doing um, adult education, going to an evening class. Fill your life with things that you really love to do that you never had the time because of your commitments to your children. And it's not the same, of course, but it will fill the gap and make you feel that you have some, something to do. You know, take up voluntary work if you want to feel needed. Another thing that um, can happen is that because our society is so focused on youth to the ridiculous extent that 14 year olds are advertising anti-aging cream. Some women can feel that they're getting old and ugly. So I would suggest that you take time out for yourself. Go to have a massage or a facial, something that will make you feel good about yourself again. Um, talk to your partner about how you're feeling and make sure you're getting lots of love and attention because that will make you feel attractive so you don't need to worry about the aging process and really you know there's nothing wrong with an aging process because if you didn't age we would be atrophied we would be kind of just stuck somewhere and that is completely unnatural and while we might worry about the lines on our faces those lines all tell a story. They tell the story of your life. And if you believe your life is 
important, relevant, worthwhile. Well, those lives are telling, those lines are telling that story. So, you know, welcome them. Because a lot of people in the world today don't have the chance to grow old. So instead of viewing it as a traumatic time, and your nerves will be affected. I mean, if your hormones are out of balance, your nerves will be affected. But plan that you're going to, re you're going to view this period of your life as it's like the beginning, it's a preparation for this fantastic adventure that's going to come afterwards when you have come through this transitionary stage. So I did mention sage earlier for the hot flashes and hot flushes and the night sweats. And the way to do it is just make cups of tea, two or three cups of tea a day. If you find these um, sweats and flushes are too severe, well, make a tincture, take it as a tincture. And one of the best herbs I find for um, hormonal imbalance, which is what this period of transformation is, is Agnus Castus, or it's also known as Vitus or Chase Tree. And you can get that in a health shop. I tried to grow the tree, but it doesn't suit this climate because it's a Mediterranean shrub. So I buy in the little, um, the little seeds and that's what we use so um, try and get hold of some agnus castus you'd want to take it for a minimum of three months and if you're feeling that empty nest syndrome where you just feel useless and you're finished um, saint john's wort and siberian ginseng are brilliant for those two for that those two herbs are brilliant for that issue and again you have to get those in a health shop But a lot of women today have issues with the menopause, partly because of our culture, that getting old is a bad thing. So you have to be in defiance of that. And another thing is that we're very sedentary these days and um, that doesn't help us at this time in our lives. So exercise is really important. Moving, walking, keeping your joints moving, and vitamin D. So if you're not out in the sun, take a vitamin D supplement because vitamin D is kind of, um, if the hormones are the car, the vitamin D is the fuel to get the car running and moving. And in our diets these days, you know, there's a lot of junk food, there's a lot of processed food. So it's a really good idea to go back to healthy eating and including a good omega-3 fats. So preferably a fish oil, or if you're a vegetarian, flax oil or flax seed, you know, the capsules, whatever you prefer, whatever way you prefer to take it. They're very good for helping at this time as well. So we've got sage, we've got omega-3s, we've got St. John's wort, and we have Siberian ginseng. Nettles as well are so nourishing. They're perfect for anyone at any stage of life. And when I say a stage of life, I mean one of those transformative stages in life. So whether you're a child growing or whether you're a breastfeeding woman or whether you're a woman going through the menopause, nettle is just so nourishing. It's going to give you all the nutrients that you need to get through this time. But it's basically looking in the mirror and saying to yourself, I love you. I don't care that you have wrinkles. I love you. You're wonderful. You're amazing. You've led in a fantastic life and you have an amazing adventurous life ahead of you. And just keep saying that. And you'll find that it could possibly be one of the most interesting and fulfilling parts of your life than any of the others put together. So that's my tuppence halfpenny on the menopause. And I hope that um, you will take on board some of the advice because, you know, we are living longer these days and it's better to live a long life where you're healthy and fit and able to do things than be going into this long extra period of life with health complaints, joint issues, things like that because um, we just don't move as our ancestors did and so we need more movement. Um, 
going for walks, meditating in nature. Look at nature and see how nature goes through that cycle as well from being young and fresh in the springtime like it is now things die down and go through that arc and and finish off in the winter but it's only sleep because it all comes back again so we can renew ourselves all the time and menopause is a fantastic time to renew yourself because as i say your commitments and duties they're over and it's time for you and just to remind you that my upcoming course, Herbal Health for Women, will have all the information in that about the menopause and other moments in women's lives and um, rites of passage and other things that you can do as well. So keep your eyes open for that. It's coming very soon. And I'll leave all the recommendations in the see more box below and um, Look forward to a great adventure. I'll see you next week. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website, danusirishherbgarden.com for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week.